Hey everybody, welcome back to The Garage. If this is your first time visiting my channel, please go ahead, click on subscribe, and also please click on that bell to receive all the updates and activities on my channel. So for today's, what we're gonna be doing is uh, we're gonna be working on a tunnel on the adventure today. Uh, it has a bare tunnel, it's not painted. Um, I can tell you my personal preference, whenever I do go by a sled, my preference is always to go by something with a painted tunnel. Just because the bare tunnels, you know, when they're cleaned up and everything else, they look great, but it, you know, it becomes a maintenance issue if you don't keep on top of it. And this tunnel is no different. Uh, essentially, you know, we do um, tow on an open trailer, and there were a couple times this year where we were coming back in the middle of a rainstorm, and whatever they use on the, the road, you know, the brines and the salts and the other snow melt stuff, um, because of the rain, it gets uh, kicked up on the tunnel. And then what happens is those chemicals start reacting with the tunnel and then it starts to get pitting and it doesn't take long for the, uh, for the, for the appearance of the tunnel to, re to really go downhill. But what we're going to do is we're going to go through the process. And I'm going to show you what you need to do to, to clean it up. It really is not that intense to do. Um, it takes about half an hour and using, um, supplies you can typically get at any store like a, a, a Walmart, Target, uh, AutoZone, uh, whatever. Uh, you can get this stuff anywhere. So with that being said, why don't we go ahead and walk over to the sled and we'll start working on it. All right, so what we're talking about, and this is pretty common, you know, this is the tunnel and all. this is the pitting that we're talking about. This is not dirt. Um, I've already washed the sled before I brought it in here. This is all uh, corrosion from all the chemicals on the road, um, salt, brine, whatever they use on the road for uh, ice melt products. You know, all that stuff will get up on the sled and it will start to pit on it. And again, this is one of the drawbacks on having a, a bare aluminum tunnel because this is always a, a maintenance item to keep it clean. Um, so what we're going to do is, honestly, when we uh, start going after this, we don't want to affect any of the decals on this. So we'll cover this up with masking tape. Um, looking at the, uh, the running boards, you know, they are dirty as far as heavy on the pitting. I'm gonna clean this up, but honestly, I'm not gonna spend a ton of time on this because um, this is just gonna get marked up from you know from your boots and everything else. So we'll we'll clean it up as best as we can, but I'm not gonna spend a ton of time on this. I'm really focused on the uh, the side of the tunnel, this section up here and in, in, in the back. So with that being said, why don't we go back to the bench and uh, I'll show you what we're gonna use to uh, get this accomplished. Okay, so what we're going to use is, we're going to use a, a, a sanding sponge right here. This is a 220 grit. We're using red scotch Bright, And then we're going to follow up with some Mother's uh, Metal Polish using a Mother's uh, Power Cone attached to a drill. And then at the end of it, we'll just use a microfiber cloth to give it a final buff. So all this stuff you can find in any general department store, auto parts store, or whatever you want. We're gonna take the uh, the 220 sanding sponge and essentially we're just gonna hit the tunnel real quick. We're not gonna, gonna go real heavy on it. We're just gonna use really the pressure of our hand to um, to hit this up. So let's do this. So again, going real light, not too heavy. And what's nice about the sponge because it's uh, it's soft, you can get around these rivets. And when you, when you go, make sure you're going in a straight line, not in circles, because you want to kind of go with the grain of the aluminum. All right, so now that we've hit the majority of the tunnel with that sanding sponge, you know, obviously because of, there's some nooks and crannies and tight spots that you won't be able to get the sanding sponge into. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna use a scotch Bright, and essentially we're gonna use this to go into all these tight spots and all these weird kind of areas. And then this will help also to knock down 
the scratching marks from the sanding sponge and then uh, clean it up so we can get ready to it to uh, hit the tunnel with the next step which is the um, the uh, metal polish and again you want to essentially make sure you're going in one direction not not making any swirls or anything like that because if you make squirrel swirls it's just going to be that much more difficult to uh, get it out so again you're not going crazy we're just going in a uniform direction and these obviously you have to be careful on because you don't want to rub the paint off as you're uh, hitting it so you gotta go kind of easy on this don't be afraid to get in there just be uh, cognizant of what you're doing All right, so now we finished the uh, the scotch brake process, and what we're gonna, what we're going to do now is we're going to use the uh, the mag and aluminum polish. So what you want to do is just take some on your finger and just spread it around. Okay. Get pretty good coverage on it. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your drill. Uh, you can use a cordless or corded whatever, whatever you have. And what you want to do is start off slow because what's gonna happen is if you go really aggressive on it, you're gonna sling the uh, the compound all over the place. So all we're doing, looking at this point, is we're gonna uh, get this thing going and just really cover the whole thing. And then we'll speed it up and then uh, we'll start buffing it out. All right, so now that's applied, it's all over the place. Now we can kick it up and uh, start buffing it. Alright, after spending about 10 minutes on the uh, on the buffing rag and you know hitting some of the hard to get areas, this is essentially the finished product. Again, I think it looks a lot better than it did. Again, we're not looking for perfection, we're just looking to clean it up. So, you know, if you want to, you can spend probably a couple of hours uh, in those pockets where the uh, tunnel braces are. But for me, I'm not going to spend that much time on it. You know, it definitely looks a lot better than it did. So this is just a little quick and easy way to go after your tunnel. Uh, depending how well you want it to look, it all depends how much time you want to spend on it. So there you go. All right, guys, I hope this helps everybody out. If you like it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Any questions, comments, concerns, go ahead and leave them in the comments box, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And uh, as always, thanks for watching, and have a great day.